prayerful guided meditations with St Francis de Sales Sixth meditation the final judgment If you are a beginner please go back to the previous episodes to learn more about how to meditate in the method that was taught by St Francis de Sales some simple requirements for meditation the meditations are in one order so make the meditations one after the other take only one meditation each day as far as possible in the morning which is most suitable time for spiritual activities it is also advantageous to carry the reflections throughout the day find a comfortable and a safe place where you will not be interrupted or disturbed you may sit on a straight back chair or on the floor legs crossed but make sure that you are sitting with a straight spine procedure of meditation first preparation second reflections or considerations third giving vent to good movements of the will and making deliberate decisions and fourth conclusion Let us begin our meditation and I wish you a prayerful and fruitful meditation. Meditation on the final judgment. Find a quiet and a private spot for meditation. and sit comfortably and take a suitable posture and see that your body doesn't experience any discomfort during meditation direct your attention to a particular object that is before you it can be a candle a cross or crucifix a flower etc depending on the situation in which you find yourself If you are unable to concentrate on the object you chose allow yourself to experiment with different objects This method helps you to set aside distracting thoughts and helps you to focus on the meditation that you are doing.
focused on a particular object, remain concentrated for some time while realizing or recalling the presence of God. The cause of this creation is our God who is present in every place and He is the one who created everything including the object that you have focused on. The whole world is filled with His presence and place yourself too in that presence. Remind yourself that He is also present in your own heart. Stay with His awareness for some time. Ask Him earnestly to inspire you. Pray in your own words. Also seek the help of your guardian angel and the holy saints. Ask them to inspire you with the suitable reflections. following reflections to sink deep into your heart. Use your imaginative skills to represent the following reflections. of the time that God has assigned for the duration of this world is over, the fire will engulf the whole face of the earth and reduce it to ashes, not sparing a single one of the things we see upon it.
this deluge or torrent of flames and lightning, everyone will rise from the earth. At the voice of Archangel, they will gather in the valley of Josephat. At that time, some will have beautiful and radiant bodies and others very ugly and frightful ones. At that time, a Supreme Judge will appear with majesty, surrounded by all the angels and the saints. Before him will be his cross, more brilliant than the sun, a sign of mercy for the good and of justice for the wicked.
judge will separate the good from the wicked. He will place the good on his right and the wicked on his left. They will be separated forever. After this, the two groups will never be together again. separation and the opening of the book of conscience will take place. Then the malice of the wicked and their disregard for God will be clearly seen. So also the repentance of the good and the fruits of the grace they received from God. Nothing will be hidden. The wicked will be filled with shame and the good find great comfort. sentenced saying go you cursed into the everlasting fire prepared for the devil and his companions these are the words of never ending rejection and the words that cast them out forever from his presence they are cursed for eternity. How horrible is this eternity of sorrows? sentence of the good. The judge, the God says, come into my bosom of goodness. 
these are the delightful words of salvation it includes all blessings the good will be told to possess the kingdom prepared for them from the foundations of the world a great gift for this kingdom will never end of the will and make deliberate decisions be filled with fear at these memories my god who can save me on that day when the pillars of heaven will tremble with fear to your sins which alone can lead you to your ruin on that terrible day make the deliberate decisions like i will judge myself now so that i may not be judged I will examine my conscience and condemn myself accuse myself and correct myself so that the judge may not condemn me on that dreadful day hence i will go to confession and take necessary advice and so on
ask the help of the Holy Spirit to give you good resolutions to follow. Conclude your meditation thanking God for giving you the means to prepare yourself for that terrible day and the time to do penance. Offer him your heart for this. Ask him for the grace to do this well. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, the world without end. Amen. Prepare a spiritual bouquet. Pick one or two ideas in which you took special delight in this meditation and which are more helpful to your improvement and remind yourself of them during the day breathing in their spiritual fragrance thank you may god bless you